Non-forfeiture clause A non-forfeiture clause is an insurance policy clause stipulating that an insured party can receive full or partial benefit or a partial refund of premium after a lapse due to a non-payment. Standard life insurance and long-term care insurance may have non-forfeiture clause. The clause may involve returning some portion of the total premiums paid, the cash surrender value of the policy, or a reduced benefit based UPIN premium paid before the policy lapse. A non-forfeiture clause is an insurance policy clause stipulating that an insured party can receive full or partial benefit or a partial refund of premium after a lapse due to non-payment. Permanent life insurance, long-term disability, and long-term care insurance policies may have non-forfeiture clause. For traditional whole life policies, the owner decides which of four ways they would like to access the policy's cash value. How a non-forfeiture clause works When the owner of whole life insurance policy opts to surrender the policy, non-forfeiture option become available. The insurance company guarantees a minimum cash value for the insurance company after a specific period, typically three years from when placed in force. For traditional whole life policies, the owner decides which of four ways they would like to access the policy's cash value. There are no guarantees for the minimum amount of insurance available in variable and universal life insurance which allow for variable investing. Also, the amount of reduced paid-up or extended term insurance may decrease if a policy's sub-account performance is poor or credited interest rates are low. Life insurance policyholders can select one of four non-forfeiture benefit options, the cash surrender value, extended term insurance, loan value, and paid-up insurance. In permanent life insurance policies, if you fail to pay the premium in the grace period, you won't lose your life insurance. Your accumulated cash value will come to your rescue with the following option. You can terminate your policy and get the cash surrender value in hard cash. You can go for reduced coverage for the remaining term of the policy with no future premium. You can use your accumulated cash value to pay the future premium. You can buy an extended term insurance policy with the remaining cash surrender value. If the policyholder doesn't make any selection, the term of the will generally stipulate which option would go into effect in the event that the policy lapses or is surrendered. Payout option under a non-forfeiture clause. After surrendering a whole life insurance policy, the debt benefit no longer exists. Before issuing payment to the policy owner, outstanding loan amounts are satisfied with the cash value. Select companies over an annuity option in the non-forfeiture clause as well. The remaining cash value may be used to purchase an annuity fee of the commission or expenses. Annuities pay regular payment as outlined in the contract. Cash surrender value here, the policy owner receives the remaining cash value within six months under the non-forfeiture cash payment option. Cash surrender value applies to the saving element of whole life insurance policies payable before death. However, during the early years of a whole life insurance policy, the saving portion brings very little return compared to the premiums paid. Cash surrender value is the accumulated portion of a permanent life insurance policy's cash value that is available to the policyholder given surrender of the policy. Depending on the age of the policy, the cash surrender value could be less than the actual cash value. In the early years of a policy, life insurance companies can deduct fees UPIN cash surrender. Depending on the type of the policy, the cash value is available to the policyholder during his lifetime. It is important to note that surrendering a portion of the cash value reduces the death benefit. Extended Term Insurance Choosing the non-forfeiture extended term option allows the policy owner to use the cash value to purchase a term insurance policy with a death benefit equal to that of the original whole life policy. The policy is calculated from the insured attained age. The term policy ends after a fixed number of years as detailed in the policy's non-forfeiture table. For some companies, this option may be automatic when surrendering a whole life insurance policy. 
Extended term insurance allows a policyholder to quit paying the premium but not forfeit the equity of their policy. The amount of cash value you will have built in your policy will be reduced by the amount of any loans against it. Thank you.